Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for one of my very first tutorials. This is something that I get questions on all the time because I use poses in my game, especially when I am actually highlighting my legacy gameplay over on Twitter. But I do use poses frequently for creative some videos as well as thumbnails. So I thought it would be really fun to do a quite basic tutorial on where to find poses, what the heck they are, and then how to use them in your game. Using poses in The Sims 4 basically just allows you to well, pose your sims in certain positions. Now, what you have to do is you have to have two mods to be able to use poses in your game. The very first one is actually called the Teleport Any Sim mod, and it is by, I think it's Scumbumbo, I think is the name. Uh, it is Andrew. And this user actually created this mod, and basically what it does is it gives you what looks like a suit of armor. And now this allows you to either summon a sim or teleport a sim to a very specific location. So literally wherever this item is placed. To teleport a sim, they do have to be on the lot currently. And to summon a sim, they can be anywhere within the particular save file that you are playing in. So that is the first mod and we will actually do a demonstration on how to go ahead and do that just a little bit later on. So definitely keep that at the front of your mind. But then you also need the Andrews Pose Player. So what this does is it just allows you to access particular poses that you have in your game. We're also gonna go over how to find poses, where to place them so they'll be active in your game, and then how to go ahead and use them. So what Andrew's Pose Player allows you to do is it allows you to pose by name as well as pose by pack. A lot of creators create pose packs, which contain anywhere from one to like 10 poses. I don't know. It could be any range that they want. They could put as many poses in a quote unquote pack as they would like. And then it also allows you to stop the posing or kind of queue up posing posing to queue up poses like you would any other actions in the game. And I promise it will all make sense once we get to the demonstration. First and foremost, where do you find poses? So where I find a lot of my poses is the Maxis Match CC World Tumblr page. It is a great page to find poses and just different custom content items as well as mods for your game if that is something that you are interested in. But I love going to their page because when you select poses under mods and stuff, which is just a great category in my head, it'll actually open up a new page and it does break down poses that you can put in your game depending on what you are looking for. So you can browse by particular subcategories, which is just so, so user-friendly. It makes me very, very happy. What you can do is you can use poses in game, but I also failed to mention that there are create a sim poses. This is how a lot of folks get really nice photos in create a sim when they're actually creating sims sound like a broken record, right? And what they do is these poses will basically be available by particular traits. So if you assign a trait to your sim, they will begin posing in whatever pose you downloaded and added to your game. We will briefly go over that a little bit as well. But what I usually do is I go down by either quantity or I'm looking at particular age, gender, or type, as well as the scene that I'm trying to set. So for example, if I wanted Christmas poses to pose my Sims on Christmas day, I would go ahead and go into the Christmas poses. But more often than not, I am looking for couple poses and group poses as well as family poses. So those are the ones that I am really looking at and that is how I find a lot of my poses. Now there are many pose creators that are out there. A lot of them offer their poses for free for download on Sim Fileshare, but there are a fair amount of pose creators that will have Patreons or other means to offer poses to the public. So it really does depend on what you are looking for. I always feel very, very safe with going to the Sim Fileshare and downloading poses from there. I do have an account and it is free to download and free to have an account in general. So it is really easy to get poses that way. However, However, I am a Patreon of a few different pose creators too, so I get early access to particular poses that they're creating, and then they are free to the public, typically a couple of weeks later per EA's terms of use and services. 
This is the path on my particular machine as to where I place poses. Now, if you're familiar with any kind of mods or custom content, poses are identical. They simply just go in your mods folder. That way they're accessible in game. We talked about the teleport any sim mod as being one of the two required mods to use poses. So what this does, as I mentioned earlier, is it adds this suit of armor over here that you can see. And this is actually almost identical to an item that we have in game, which is kind of funny. I'm not sure what the purpose was of it, but anyway, what you can do, and this is typically how I find it, is I type in teleport and usually it is the second that comes up on the list when I type that in the search bar so it's the sim teleport destination it ends up being a miscellaneous decoration but you can go ahead and select that and of course it does have this little wrench to show that it is custom content it says place where you want to teleport a sim to click and to activate so I have a few set up already but just as an example let's say that we wanted to take this and we have three sims here so this is going to be our first demonstration. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place them over here. We're gonna turn them at just an angle for the sake of demonstration. And I know that I have a particular pose for three Sims, two adults and a toddler. And what you have to do is you have to go ahead and place this little suit of armor in the same spot. Now, some poses are different. There are some that have demonstrations showing you where to place this suit of armor so your Sims will appropriately pose. But this is just a standing pose. It does not require any objects. You can see that I have a couch, a table, and some chairs and everything set up behind here. But the pose I'm gonna show you first requires no in-game objects and nothing else custom aside from the pose and the mods necessary to pose. So I hope that makes sense. So we're gonna actually place one, two, and three. They're all in the same spot, so it just looks like there's one. And then we go into live mode. So all of my sims are named test sim, so I have to make sure that I get everyone in the right spot. And it's gonna look a little bit weird when we first do this, but bear with me. So what we do here is we go ahead and we right click. Nope, we don't, we left click. <laughs> Great tutorial. We left click and then you get the options of summon a sim here and teleport a sim. So as a reminder, teleport a sim is only available to sims that are in the nearby area, more likely on the lot that you're currently on. If we wanted to summon a sim from anywhere else in this save file, we could do that as well. So we'll kind of show that at the end. But for the sake of this first demonstration, we will teleport a sim. So we do have a few sims that are in the area that are not our test sims. So what we'll do first is we will teleport our female test sim. We'll go ahead, click again, and we'll teleport our male sim. They're starting to look a little bit weird here. And then we have one more where we will teleport the toddler. So you can see that they're pretty much all on top of each other. We have a very interesting looking sim since they're all combined, but this is where we start actually using poses. Now don't get overwhelmed, I have tons of poses in my game. And I know where certain poses are because I use them so often. If you wanna start off with maybe a pose or two in your game, that is highly recommended. So we clicked on one of our Sims here. We will be able to tell which Sim we clicked on in just a moment. I believe we clicked on our, nope, I can't tell. But if you click on a Sim, you will have these options here. They might be in the more choices depending on how many options you have. I have some other mods here, which is why these menus are kind of expanded. But I typically do pose by pack because I know which poses are in which packs that I've downloaded. You can also do pose by name if you only have a handful of poses to choose from and you know exactly what the file is titled. But I do pose by pack. Again, don't be alarmed. I have a very lengthy menu of poses to choose from. But it looks like our female sim was selected first. So for the sake of this demonstration, I know that the poses I want are down here. Okay, <laughs> so the poses I want are down here. I'm going to be using this pack, which is the Three of Us Pose Back by Simberlin. I believe that that particular user has retired from making poses. However, they are still available to download on their Tumblr page, which is how I ended up getting these in the first place. But we'll click into this pack and you can see here that there are a handful of poses. So there is this first pose, a second one, there's a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So there are nine poses in this pose pack. So that's what I was mentioning earlier, where there are single poses, but there are also pose packs. So we actually have a few different options and I wanted to show off. Let's see, this one is my favorite. So we first selected our female sim. So this is typically how pose creators break them down. 
depending on the creator, it can be different. So just be weary of that. If you're trying to get the poses correct, it might take some fiddling around. But since we have our female sim selected, we will select F4. And we selected it, you can kind of see it over here in shadow that it is now in her queue of actions. So what we're gonna do is we have to get out of this menu here, select out of it, and then we're going to click on our male test sim and do the same thing by pose by pack. We're gonna scroll all the way down where I know the pose pack is and we're gonna go to the three of us. And we selected F4, so that means we have to select M4. And you can kind of see how this image is going to look. So we'll select M4 for him, Click off the menus again, and then select our little toddler. Pose by pack. Scroll all the way down here to the three of us, and then select T4 and get out of the menus. So our game is currently paused, and when I unpause it, you will see the Sims snap to this posed position, hopefully fairly quickly. And there they are. <laughs> They are all posed, so it looks as though um, the afro hair here is kind of blocking our toddler sim, but you can see here that they are posed holding their little toddler and giving him little smooches on the cheeks. We'll even go into tab mode here and kind of zoom in. So it does kind of depend on what creative sim assets you have on your sims because these poses are created in obviously a separate program. They may not be quote unquote optimized for every single creative sim asset. So that's important to kind of note here, but that is how you go ahead and pose a group of sims. And that was fairly easy. Again, I have a lot of poses in there, so don't be overwhelmed by how lengthy that menu was. If you download a handful of poses, like maybe two to five to start off with, it'll be so easy to locate them and start using them. All right, looking good, test sim family. So I basically went over here into their queue and I exited out of or clicked off of their poses, which means that they stop posing. They do end up in the same area where they were initially teleported, which is kind of funny. But now we'll show how we teleport Sims using this little suit of armor. So I'm now going to pose them on, let's go with this love seat. I'm not sure why I got the couch and the love seat, but we'll, we'll see if I can recall. So what we do here is again, we are going to click on the suit of armor. Now I'm going to be selecting this female sim first. It doesn't really matter, but it's just how I keep it in order of my head. So we're going to teleport a sim here and we're going to teleport her and she immediately pops into the couch. And that is very important to note. So she needs to be in the center of this couch, which is obviously not a position that you would typically be able to place your Sims in. So we are going to teleport a Sim again and teleport our male test Sim. And again, teleport a Sim and have the toddler. So they are all in the center of the couch, which is looking real weird but there is another pose pack that i wanted to show off and this is how you can use poses that are meant to be used with particular objects so we'll pose by pack and we're going to go all the way down here again showing off another pose pack by simberlin i believe it is the just us pose pack that i'm looking for Yes, it is perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're gonna do F4, M4, and T4 here. So I know, cause these thumbnails are a bit small. However, when you are finding these poses on various sites, specifically Tumblr, there will usually be some example of what the poses will look like. And hopefully you can kind of reference from there. I'm just very familiar with these poses. So I, I really know what I'm looking at, but we'll do F4, click out of the menu go back to our male test sim, pose by pack, again, scroll all the way down here because I have way too many poses that I, that I know what to do with, go into the just us and then select M4, get out of the menu, select our little toddler test sim, go all the way down here yet again, just us and do T4. Now they are going to snap into that pose in just a second. And perfect, here they are, all snuggled up on the couch, toddler standing on his knee, kind of leading into his dad's fro, which is absolutely adorable. And you can see here that his arm is kind of clipping into this hair. Again, just another reminder that depending on the creative sim assets that you have put on your sims, some of these poses may clip in just a little bit. They may not be ideal. You can kind of tell here too that the toddler's foot is actually inside of 
dad's pants a little bit, mainly because these pants are just a baggier create a sim asset. But that is how you go ahead and use poses. And this was an example of how to use a pose that is meant for a particular object. We'll actually do another one over here as well. So here's a great example of different placement, if that's kind of fair to say. So I have a handful of poses that are meant for Sims that are just sitting and talking at a table and they express different emotions, which is great for storytelling. So the first thing that we are going to do is X out of this posing right here. So this is the action in this Sims queue. You go ahead and just click off of it. And if you unpause the game, she will snap out of the pose, which looks a little bit weird, but you know, we're just going to ignore it. Looks like our gardener says that we don't need any services today. Thank you very much. Didn't know we had one. And we're going to go ahead and teleport our female sim over here, kind of in this chair. And then we're also going to X out of this pose for our male sim. And we're going to teleport him here. Now they are here. If I had let that go, if I hadn't paused the game, they would actually walk away from these objects autonomously. So it's very important to kind of have the game on pause if you're trying to set things up. Probably should have mentioned that too. So we're gonna go pose by pack again. And I know in this menu somewhere, if I can find it, because I have a lot, here they are. They're by Ratboy Sims, an incredible pose and custom content creator, by the way. And we are going to do some sitting and talking happy poses because why not? So this is a pose pack that just has a few different happy expressions on Sims faces and it's meant for them to be sitting in a chair. So we are going to select, let's see, let's select number 10 for our male Sim. It looks very excited and I kind of like that. So we're going to go to our female test Sim. We're going to go ahead and find those yet again. I always seem to scroll too far. We'll go to the sitting and talking happy pose pack and then we are going to have her pose like this, number five. And once we get out of the menu, unpause the game, they are seated literally on the edge of their seat. I probably could have done a better job at, at placing them, but it also kind of works. <laughs> so he is very, very excited. The expression on his face is just pure, pure happiness, in my opinion. And she is looking at him. Oh, we forgot to unpose our toddler. He's going to stay there, by the way. If we don't um, actually get rid of that action, he will stay posed, but that's okay. But she looks <laughs> very curious, almost uh, enamored with him entirely. And I think what I probably should have done is placed those teleport things right in the center of the chair. Probably would mean that they would be a little bit more aligned with the table and the chairs themselves. But lesson learned. You basically just have to toy around with a lot of things depending on what you're looking to do. But that is a great way to kind of set up a storytelling pose. It looks like they're having a very positive, happy conversation. You could create dialogue around this all you want and you could take some really great pictures. And then we will do one more demonstration. Again, it is just a couch, so they're going to just be some couch poses here. But let's see, we're gonna kind of explore what poses I have to play around with. We're going to teleport our female Sim here first. And then since I have so many poses, I often have to scroll through a lot to kind of see what I have. <laughs> that is just a downfall of my own here. I think we'll do the honey poses here. There are, I want to say, three teleport things here. So what we're actually going to do... Now just bear with me when I do this. Whenever you replace one of these things, it will move and reset your sim, by the way. So you want to make sure that these are set up appropriately before you start moving things around. The only reason I did that is because I want a pose with only two sims and I didn't want to have to go into build mode to delete one of these teleport things. So just bear with me, but we'll teleport her back there. And then we're going to teleport our male sim. And I mentioned we're going to be doing the honey poses by Ratboy Sims. And they are right here. I know that they are seated, which is why I wanted to do them. So we're going to do this one here, which I think is really, really cute. We're going to have our female Sim laying in our male Sims lap. So you can see here that this is a little bit different. It isn't uh, specified as to which Sim should be in which position, but it does highlight which Sim the particular pose is going to be impacting. So the one that's highlighted is the one laying down. So our female Sim will be the one laying down. And then we'll do our male Sim here, and he will actually be leaning on his elbow over here with his arm on the female Sim. And we'll get out of the menu, 
and they will snap into place, which is so cute. So it looks as though they're kind of relaxing on the couch. Then maybe they fell asleep watching TV. Maybe they just put the toddler to bed who's still floating in the air and they're just so happy, but also exhausted. And you can kind of see that depending on the couch, you know, the arm might clip a little bit here and it kind of looks like her leg is resting in midair, but you know what? It still looks really, really cute, and it's probably more so the couch than the pose. <laughs> but that is just another example on how to use a few different couple poses. They are pretty easy to use. Now, it does get a little bit dicey when you have poses such as this one. I'll show you real quick, because it does take some playing around with, but here is the All That Matters pose pack by Simberlin yet again. And you can just tell from these little teeny tiny thumbnails that there are tons of sims, including a dog, that are actually part of these poses. So it's really for bigger families and things like that. This one right here, I know that I've used in a create a sim video for a family of seven. So it really depends on what poses you find and really what you're looking for. You can mix and match poses too if you start getting a little bit crafty, but Poses are really a great way to kind of show off some storytelling and really just exude particular emotions that you want your Sims to show. And I know that there are a handful of creators for, let's say, uh, Let's Plays, if they're trying to make thumbnails and really show what's going to be happening in said episode of a Let's Play, they'll use poses to kind of make that thumbnail and really express what the episode is going to be capturing. But that is my little pose tutorial. We are going to dive into create a sim and kind of show you how the create a sim poses work as well. We'll kind of rescue our toddler here first though. Get him, get him out of there. We don't want him floating in midair for forever. There he is back in his couch and his parents are in the couch too. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and take our female sim here and we are going to bring her into create a sim so I can show you how poses will work within that platform as well. So I have cleared my test sims traits here and there are only, I'm gonna have to do some exploring. I only have a handful of poses that are designated for create a sim, but I know that one of them is attached to the childish trait. So if I were to go ahead and select the childish trait, you are going to see my sim start posing. They're going to go through a series of poses from a particular pose pack that I downloaded. So if we do childish, she has begun posing in create a sim and this is a great opportunity to take screenshots so you can get that perfect glamour shot of your sim in the create a sim platform, which I really enjoy doing not only for thumbnails, but I just think it's a great way to just capture a character without placing them in their environment. If she's feeling a little saucy, she, she feeling saucy, I love it. So it ran through all the poses and now she is just back to moving around and create a sim as your sims do. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that trait. And I believe I have a few more. Snob is one of them. My memory's not off. And this is another pose pack where there will be various poses that she cycles through. Again, a great way to get some screenshots for thumbnails or even for storytelling if that's what you really wanted to do. This one has a few more expressions than the other, different emotions that they're kind of showing. And I really like that one because it can capture the personality of a particular character that you are creating. But there usually are between like five and 10 poses that you will be able to cycle through with these trait pose packs. It really does depend again on the creator. I think I do have one or two more and the next one is the clumsy trait. Now, when I am using these particular traits, I didn't designate them to be the pose traits. These were defined by the creator. And if I'm looking for create a sim pose packs, I'm looking for them to actually utilize different traits. For example, if I had two pose packages linked to the childish trait, I'm not sure if they would both play or if it would be a conflict. Therefore, I try to find different traits to actually show off different poses. Again, it, cre it depends on the creator, but this particular creator, creator used one for the clumsy trait. So these are just a few more kind of model poses, if you will, for your Sims. She's looking rather fierce. She looking good, she can't be bothered. And it really just depends on what kind of poses that you would like. So that is why the Maxis Match CC Tumblr is a great navigation springboard to go off of because you can actually go ahead and select particular traits and see what poses are available. So that one cycled through as well. And I think that that's all I have. I honestly can't remember. Basically, it's just going to show you more traits, potentially non-committal. Nope, she just doesn't like commitment. Oh, well. 
All right, now here's where things are going to get a little bit more complicated. There are poses that use particular custom content create a sem assets, okay? So bear with me when I say this. You see here, there's something by Clumsy Alien, who is probably one of my favorite custom content pose creators as well. There's also this bouquet by Bio. There is this arrest sign by another creator who I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you can see there are a few custom content pieces in here. Like this one here from Clumsy Alien, like right hand, left hand. There are some rings, which isn't an object, but you know what I mean. There's a guitar, there's a hairbrush, there's a microphone. There is this little cup of coffee, some mug overlays. There are a handful of different create a sim items that can either be tagged as accessories. Some of them end up being Let's see if I have any. Some of them end up being hats. Yep, there are a few hats here, like this here is an ultrasound. There's also this little drawing. I know that just off the top of my head. There is this little pregnancy test for storytelling purposes, as well as some books that are attached to the sim in Create a Sim. So we're going to show this one off because I know we have a toddler in the household and I'm familiar with this pose. So if we were to go ahead and add this item to our sim, you can see here it is attached. It was under the hat category. Again, that is up to the creator, but it is attached to this sim. So this does mean that she could just walk around with this attached to her at all times, but you can see it's a kid's drawing, okay? So bear with me. We're gonna go ahead and say play. We're gonna go into our household and I'll show you exactly how this object works. We are back with our family. We got out of create a sim. Here is our female sim. Again, that object is still attached to her left hand. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do this from the start. We're gonna go into build mode, get rid of that grid because no one likes the grid. That's not true. I know some people do, I just don't like it. We're gonna go ahead and search Tele, and that always brings up the sim teleport destination. So this is our sim teleporter. And now this particular pose, because I read what the creator wrote about it and actually told you how to use it, it's very important to read those sometimes. So if you do find particular creators or certain posts that allow you to download poses, definitely look up how to set up a pose, especially if it uses create a sim items or any other items. So I know that this will actually result in my sims sitting on the floor because I have done it before. So we're gonna place one and then two of those teleporters right on top of one another. Looks like they couldn't reach our mailbox, which is totally fine. And we're going to teleport our female sim here and our toddler. So this is by Clumsy Alien, so we do pose by pack. And I know that it's going to be right up here at the top. I believe it is the family pose pack. It is, oh, I love it. So even though this does say it's for the male sim and then a toddler, it can of course be any sim that you'd like. I chose mom, so mom is going to be this very first pose here, basically the adult. And then we're gonna go into the toddler, do the pose by pack, go back down to clumsy alien family and choose the toddler. And now when we get out of the menu, they will snap into place and you will see how this object comes into play. How cute. So you can see here, we'll try to get a better angle here, that they are now posed on the ground. And it looks as though mom, oh, I may have missed a create a sim asset, but that's okay. She could be holding a crayon in her, her hand as well. But even if you weren't gonna show that detail, it looks really, really cute that mom is essentially helping her little toddler color a picture here, which I think is so, so adorable. Now you're probably asking, how do you find the create -a sim objects and accessories and the poses and match them up? More often than not, the creator will actually have a post that shows you what the pose is and they will provide links to the objects that you need. So our pose creators, custom content creators and modders in general, really, really go above and beyond for us. And many pose creators will do that. They will actually provide the poses, and then they will go ahead and link any objects that you need. Now, these are technically separate files. What can happen with a lot of these separate objects is they can take you to other third-party sites. Some of them do require ad blockers. Some of them may not be super friendly. A lot of them could be sites where, like Adfly, I believe is one of them, where the creator is getting 
they're basically monetizing their downloads. Now, me personally, I don't have a problem with it, but more often than not, if I have to go through particular barriers to get an object, if it takes me to a site that either isn't in my native language, which is English, that I can't translate through, or I really don't know what I'm clicking on, I just want to be cautious when I'm on the internet. So more often than not, I am not downloading objects that require me to kind of go out of my comfort zone. I usually gravitate towards creators who also make their own objects as well as poses because if I am basically familiar and comfortable with getting the poses, I can usually get the objects in that way as well, like sim file share. A lot of poses will actually be zip files. Now I'm not gonna go into extraneous detail with this because I had to learn a lot of this on my own and I don't feel super confident kind of explaining it, but sometimes there will be a merged file that includes the poses and the objects that you need instead of having to download like a bunch of separate files. So that is basically it. So that's an example of using a create a sim object that actually ties into a pose. Now again, when you <laughs> unpose them, we'll have our toddler walk over here real quick. She is always, always going to have this little accessory on her hand, unless you go back into create a sim and you remove it. So that is kind of where if you want to say, oh my God, he's going to fall over. Look at him, he can't walk. But <laughs> if you want to say that that's kind of the downfall of using some poses, I think that that would be it because it is kind of a pain because what you don't want to happen, at least what I don't want to happen, is I don't want my Sims to be walking around the world and change into an outfit with an object like this because it just looks really unnatural and odd, right? So what I end up doing is I will go back into cast and I will get rid of that object once I'm done with that particular pose. So it is a lot of back and forth. It may not be the most ideal way to do it, but that is how I choose to <laughs> either set up certain poses or keep my Sims, uh, I don't know, kind of custom content free in that sense. Well, everyone, that is my pose tutorial. I hope it was helpful. All of the links to all of the things I was talking to will be uh, down in the description below so you can download the two necessary mods. You can go ahead and, oh, they're gonna start playing. I'm gonna zoom out because it's gonna be very loud. But you can see everything in the description down below, the two mods that you will need, as well as where I find my poses. And hopefully, hopefully this was helpful, helpful to you guys. I would love to hear your feedback on this. This is the first time I've really done a tutorial, so I'm not quite sure if it was structured in the most ideal way. So definitely let me know and let me know if there are other tutorials that you would like to see in the future. And I will catch you guys next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.